When it comes to wearing diapers discreetly, one of the best things you can do is wear the right diaper for the right type of situation. Personally, I keep a thinner diaper on hand for when I go to the gym and when I'm gonna work out, but you might also wanna consider something like a swim diaper, like Swimmates, or a nighttime diaper versus a daytime diaper. If you happen to go with plastic back diapers, which I personally recommend, one way to reduce the crinkle is by using underwear. Yes, that's right. If you just wear underwear over your diaper, it'll help constrict the plastic layer, the outer shell, preventing it from crinkling and making noise, as well as further muffling it with extra layers. This next one isn't one that I've personally tried, but I got it from one of you guys, and it's to always keep a snack on hand that has a crinkly wrapper. This way, if anyone is to question why they're hearing that crinkling noise coming from you, you can pull an empty wrapper out of your pocket. It's sort of like a backup plan. Another great tip to keep in mind is to use plastic bag diapers so that way it prevents smells. Cloth bag diapers with the exterior that breathes tends to allow a little bit more of that smell to come through. If you find that you're smelling yourself, that's a good rule of thumb that it's time to change. And of course, if you're using cloth back products, you may want to consider changing more frequently, especially when you're out and about and hanging out with friends. On the topic of different smells that people get concerned about, another thing that you might want to consider avoiding is strongly scented products like baby oil, maybe A&D ointment, maybe just specifically when you're going out and you're going to be around people and you know it's something that you feel self-conscious about. Another tip as well is to cultivate a scent that you prefer to smell as. So that's, you know, if you want to use any type of cologne or perfume, that you prefer. This can all give you that added boost of confidence that nobody's gonna notice a thing. Another thing to consider as well is specifically to choose clothing that makes you feel confident. Studies show that the type of clothes that you wear and the symbolic meaning that they have to you do have an impact on your self-confidence and your cognitive capabilities. That's called enclothed cognition if you wanna check that out. Another thing to consider and that's commonly recommended is to size up in clothing. This is definitely something that I do and have done for years. And the idea is to make sure that the clothing accommodates the absorption level that you need and not the other way around. One other good thing to keep in mind is that dark clothing or dark pants can help hide leaks, but they also will show powder a lot more. So if you end up getting some on you, that can kind of stain or look kind of mucky and that's something to be aware of. Another good tip that some people have to help you feel a little bit more confident or feel a little bit more discreet is to tuck in your shirt. This way, the top of the diaper has no chance of poking out and being seen if you bend over or if you do something like that. That's something that some people can feel a bit self-conscious about. Another good tip to keep in mind is to always make sure you clean up before you have company over. This is something that I've done for years, something that I'm personally paranoid about, always taking out the trash before people come over, cleaning up all of the diaper supplies. That's just something just to keep in mind. If you're gonna have company over, make sure you clean everything up. Another way to make sure that the fact that you need to wear diapers stays discreet is to think about diaper changes strategically. I actually made a whole nother video about this, so if you need some assistance with that, check out this video next. Until next time, stay dry.